welcome back to my next video for more videos click on that subscribe button and for the latest updates from me click on that bell icon and never forget to subscribe my channel as well as to share the videos with your social media friends and if you like this channel then recommend to others hi youtube viewers welcome back to my next video on vhdl language in this video i am going to tell you about fem toffoli gate okay in my previous video i have told you about femin gate right so now we will be seeing toffoli gate will be implementing and have a look that basic two conditions were satisfying or not as usual by seeing the diagram you can say that the, there are three inputs and three outputs so it is satisfying the first condition and the next condition will be seeing the truth table so we are not going to see the truth table right now and we will be directly will be implementing it and then we will be seeing whether we are getting it or not so you can able to see the equations are like p a p equals to a and q equals to b and r equals to a b x or c so let us implement it let me go to my xilinx and click on new file click on verilog module and you can have a look like toffoli gate we are implementing t o f f o l i reversible gate right so let me write it reversible gate and then we need to declare inputs and outputs here your inputs are like three inputs a b c and our output is p q r let me declare it as fast as possible p q r and then let me let me click on next okay and let me finish the module right now and now we will be implementing this not in gate level modeling as my previous video also have told you that we will be not be implementing in gate level modeling we will be implementing in data flow modeling so data flow modeling we will be writing assign assign p equals to a and q equals to b and where r equals to have some logic like r equals to a and b xor of c right so that is the reason we are keeping first a and b in brackets and then we are making it as an xor operation and then we will be writing c okay so it's or it's not xor let me check it out xor or or let me have a look once again in the diagram so that it will be clear okay so let me see it's an xor not or so let me change it okay so it's an xor of c so that's the reason i am let me remove it and keep an xor xor is like cap symbol so let me save it now let me select the toffoli gate and let me check the syntax so after checking the syntax now let's simulate the model so after simulation you can able to find a window pop up now you need to give your inputs a b and c and have a look at your output the basic one which i give to all the values are like all ones right so similarly i am giving all the ones here you can able to see a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and then your c equals to 1 so let me run it and let me see what is have what is what we are what the output we are going to get okay so you can able to see that we got 110 okay now uh, one to one mapping is not done now it will be like cross mapping so let me give zero and we need to get 111 as an output yes we have got like 111 as your output and you can check for every each and every value like giving 100 and you will be getting 100 this is one to one mapping okay this is the second rule it is satisfied and the first rule as usual it has satisfied with the diagram so hope you have understood this video and you you have come to know that how we can verify a module and how to implement a reversible logic gate let me complete more two modules which we have so after completing it we will be finishing over the basic modules in our next videos okay till then stay tuned to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like this video please like it thank you for watching